Yes. Senator Platt. Thank you, Speaker. My question today again is for the government leader in the Senate. Leader, last week I met with the National Cattle Feeders Association, who, like everyone else in the agricultural industry, are suffering tremendously from this pandemic. Inflation is up 47 percent. The price of finished cattle is up 50 percent. Feedlot input costs are up 70 percent. A MNP study estimates a 25,000 head feedlot will sustain a minimum of six and a half million dollars in loss this year. Less than half of this loss is covered by the Agri-Stability Program, which caps at three million dollars, leaving significant feedlot production exposed. Total cumulative losses from mid-March to mid-October add up to $450 million, Leader. Leader, when will the government respond to our hard-hit farmers and cattle feeders and increase the agri-stability cap, which has been stuck at $3 million for some 20 years and is not nearly enough in these highly unusual times? Senator Gold. Uh, Senator, thank you very much for the question. The government is very aware of the, not only the importance of uh, the uh, industry uh, to which you refer, uh, but of uh, the challenges that that industry and many others are, are facing. The government remains committed to providing assistance to the agricultural sector through various programs, that, which I've outlined in this chamber before. I don't have the specific answer uh, with regard to the, uh, uh, the change of the cap to which you refer. I'll certainly make inquiries and report back. Senator Platt. Thank you, Speaker. The government seems to be aware of every problem that every industry is facing and seems to have a problem in doing things about it. Cattle feeders argue that the cap should be upwards of $20 million a litre, not $3 million. Leader, in the lead up to this month's meeting of federal and provincial agricultural ministers, can you tell us if the government has had any discussions about increasing the cap? Can you give us a sense of the number under consideration? And if you're not considering increasing the cap, why not? And if you can't give us those answers, could you please find out what those answers would be and report back to us? Senator Gold. Thank you. As government representative in the Senate, I'd be pleased to make those inquiries and report back. Senator Batters. 